there and happy family day. We have been on lockdown for a number of days now. This I know has presented us with a lot, a lot of new challenges and particularly challenges for us as families, having to adjust to the new rhythms. I know for our family, having a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and a one-year-old has been rather tricky to adjust to this new way of doing life. As a church, over the past two weeks, we have focused on personal devotion, and these devotions have been based off Galatians, uh, looking at the fruit of the Spirit. I hope these have been helpful for you and edifying for your own personal walk with the Lord. These devotions have come at a timely time where we've had to adjust to working from home, where we've had to adjust to doing family life differently, where we've had to uh, deal with the fears and the anxieties and the hopelessness that COVID-19 has brought to us. So I hope that uh, these devotions have really been helpful. As it is Family Day today, the way I'd love to encourage moms and dads is to take hold of what normally is time spent together as families, to repurpose those times to cultivate the hearts of our children. An example, which is what we try to do with our family, is to take 15 minutes before or after dinner and to read scripture, to sing praises to God. Doesn't matter how you sing, but sing and to pray. And this is usually not a perfect time. It's hard because kids cannot concentrate but just do it, and that's our encouragement to you. Just pursue it. And we're hoping that this will lock down a new habit for families as we seek to raise our children in the instruction of the Lord. So my encouragement to you is to think of intentional ways that you can do this as a family, regardless of the age of your children. KBS has great resources for you. If you have teens, the youth ministry has great resources for you. So whatever you need, we want to assist you. But the encouragement for us this week is to start locking down this new habit of family devotion. Get on.